good morning and welcome to my self-care space. I wanted to take a moment this morning to show you my full product line and everything that I'm offering. Uh, I'm selling all my products and a few more. And especially as we're getting ready for Christmas, I just wanted to take a minute to show you everything. So, okay, here's what we have. Number one seller, pit paste. Uh, I'm testing a couple different versions right now. This is lemongrass. Some people have lavender sensitivities. So I made the lemongrass, it's really nice. So you can order that uh, by messaging me through my website, um, yellowheartsisters.com or through the Facebook page. I'm testing a couple different sensitive skin versions. The classic version works for 95% of people, but there are 5% with various sensitivities. So I'm working on figuring those out right now. One would be without the lavender, which I've substituted tea tree, and another is where I've taken out tea tree and vetiver. So I'm working on a couple things. If you're ever experiencing rashes with pit paste, um, just reach out to me and I'll help you find one that works for you. So pit paste is always available. And then we have life bars. Okay, so using a life bar. A life bar is a solid moisture bar. So you just rub it around your hands till it feels really good. You can use it right on your lips as lip balm, you can use it on your face, and my favorite way to use it is to give yourself a foot massage. So sit down at night in your self-care space, drop a couple drops of essential oil right onto your life bar, and that is something that I just live by. I call it life bar therapy. It's wonderful. So use your life bar for anything. Keep one by your bed, keep one in the kitchen, keep one in the bathroom, one in the car, and you have hand, um, hand cream. So it's your moisturizer and it's so wonderful for lips and of course for foot massage. So that's Life Bar. Those come in a little tin for $10 or in a pack of five for 40, so you get one free. I like to keep them on a little slice of agate or something. Um, I might sell those at some point. That's Life Bars. Um, we live by those. So great for men and women. Of course, the pit paste is as well. Okay, my facial cleansing line. This is one of my very top favorites and I run into people who remind me how wonderful this is. So this is what I use at night. It's called facial cleansing oil. I'll just give you a real quick um, info on how, to, how I use it. So uh, damp face. This, so oil uh, cleanses our face by kind of like um, where oil mixes with oil. So it doesn't at all make your face greasy. If you have any concerns about your face being greasy, this isn't going to make your face greasy. It actually balances our oil. So you, you cleanse with facial cleansing oil and you get damp face, one squirt of facial cleansing oil. It smells delicious. It has a couple different oils in it, but it smells of, to me, it's ylang ylang. So then you just, I didn't do any makeup yet, so I could do all the, um, rub it around, give yourself a nice face massage rub it all over. You can um, even open your eyes while you're cleansing your face and it doesn't sting or burn. So it's really nice that you can cleanse with your eyes open and you go around the eyes for, um, for your eye makeup and it takes all even the eye makeup off, no problem. Then you get a nice hot washcloth and you um, simply wash away the day. So the facial cleansing oil is so nice. It smells wonderful. It's something that people look forward to. I look forward to it all day. And then that nice hot washcloth and you can just scrub around your whole face and just to whatever level you want, you can then you just rinse it right off um, with the washcloth. Now you're clean and you're actually moisturized with that, but I like to follow with the toner as well. So the toner is so simple and it's great. It smells so nice. It's just uh, vodka, apple cider vinegar, and lavender hydrosol, which is just, as simple as it can be. Vodka and apple cider vinegar are wonderful um, cleansers and pH balancers. The magic ingredient is about six drops of uh, Moroccan blue chamomile, which is very calming for the skin. So any redness that we might have or irritations, it really calms the skin. So I just put about, you get to shake it a little bit because the uh, essential oils, those six drops, they float. So I just put a few drops like maybe like a nickel size right in my hand, rub it around and then I just pat it on my face and it's instantly so refreshing and nice. You can do it anytime, but I really do it. Facial cleansing oil followed by the toner. I call it pit and pour toner because it doubles as a pit wash on non-shower mornings. Uh, today is a non-shower morning for me and I went ahead and saved my look so I could do um, the dry shampoo for you. But first, 
uh, I want to finish with the facial line. I have a face mist. I love this. It's the luxury in my facial cleansing routine. So you can do this. It's the last thing I do at night and the first thing I do in the morning. So you just mist. And this is uh, hydrosols. It's made of hydrosols, which are the water product of the essential oil making process. So if you can imagine a distillery who is making essential oils, the oils go one way and the waters go another. And the waters are hydrosols. Um, so they're very high frequency. They're very uplifting and energizing for our skin and for our face. So I use that whenever, but my favorite way to use it is with uh, facial cleansing oil at night. I use that at night. Facial cleansing oil followed by the toner and then the face mist. So this is like my nighttime face routine. So I offer that um, all the time on my website and at the stores Healthy for Life and uh, Good Harvest Market. So if you haven't tried the facial cleansing routine, it might be something that you'll really, really love. In the morning, if I wash my face, I use um, either the soap and shave, which I'll show you. Um, so soap and shave is one of the products I sell. This is my bottle, but doesn't have the proper label, but um, it is coconut oil, honey, and castile soap. So it couldn't be simpler. You're actually moisturizing and nourishing while you're cleansing. Uh, you can use that for a face wash in the morning or for shaving or for your whole, and for your whole body wash. Um, I do cleanse my pits. I need to show you this. This is really important. Um, okay, so I tell everybody about this when we're in person, so it's important for me to tell you now. This is my bottle that I keep in the shower with me all the time, well, in the shower all the time, and it's a combination of vodka and baking soda. And I use this to cleanse my armpits. And that is because if we want to not smell, we need to get rid of the bacteria that causes the odor. So a scrub in the armpits of, this is just a simple slurry. Any combination will work. You kind of want to shoot for a wet paste, like, uh, but if it, it can be as, as wet or as dry as you want. So you use that to cleanse your armpits because you need to get fully rid of the bacteria that causes the odor before you put the pit paste on. Um, it'll still work okay if you put you know, your regular deodorant or my pit paste right on, um, but it won't work as well. So if you cleanse the pits before you use your pit paste, even on your non-shower mornings, then you can be sure that you're not gonna stink. So that combination works really well together. It's really those two things and the the pit and pour is if you don't have your vodka and baking soda, the pit and pour also cleanses the pits wonderfully. So you go ahead and use that to cleanse your armpits before you put your pit paste on. And of course it doubles as a toner, which is great. A lot of my products have multiple uses because we aim for simplicity. Um, okay, so that's the face night and we talked about face morning. So when I first get up in the morning, a lot of times I'll splash a little water on my face, I'll do the face mist, and then I take a couple of drops of Project Soul Shine body oil. And this is just how I moisturize my face in the morning. And I just take like four drops and I rub it between my hands and I just put it on and it just makes me feel so good. So I'm like good to go. I can do my makeup um, after that. But I like to put a little bit of moisturizing on my face, especially in the winter. This is kind of a winter routine. I wake up really dry. so. I do that in the morning. Okay, and then we talked about shower days and non-shower days. On non-shower days, which for me is every other day, some people can go longer, but where I'm at in my journey, I can go every other day. So my hair has not been washed today, and I'm gonna show you how to use the dry shampoo. Because some people are curious and haven't used the dry shampoo yet, and I sure wish that I had found out about it sooner, but either way, now I have it, now I know, and here's how we use dry shampoo. So you can see my hair is just a little dirty, and instead of taking a full shower and spending an hour of my day and using all sorts of additional products and water, it's so much easier on the earth, and my um, skin and hair and my immunity even. So I just go through, part the hair, and rub it into the scalp. I'm not quite done. I go around kind of a lot on um, the sides in certain areas. <laughs> I haven't done this live before. So this is how we use the dry shampoo. And I'm almost done. And you'll notice 
that my hair looks clean, I think, and a little more on the top right there, and then I think I'm done. So I just went to, to different parts um, of, I parted the hair multiple times and put it into the roots, and then I used my fingertips and even my nails to rub it in. So that uh, absorbs the excess moisture at the roots. So now my hair looks clean and it looks really good. And I just actually didn't have to do any additional styling because I still had some of the styling from, from yesterday. So now I'll put a couple spritzes of hairspray. I'll show it to you. These are organic products. I think they're organic. Organic or beyond organic, like my products are, from uh, Wild Roots Salon in Delafield which Magic Gina owns, and she does my hair, and I love her. Thank you, Magic Gina. So I just did a little dry shampoo and a couple spritzes of hairspray, and I'm done. So I'm not gonna do anything else. I saved an hour of my day to do beneficial things, and I'm all set. So that's a great savings of time, resources, and the less that we strip the oils, the less our body has to overproduce oils, and we also save on our immunity because we have this nice small acidic layer as adults called a microbiome, and that protects us. It actually adds just a little layer of uh, immunity. So when we go out in the world, we're not stripped of those natural oils and that microbiome that protects us. Speaking of things that protect us, this is one thing I sell on my website. You may have seen this. Um, I call it a divining crystal. Yeah, I don't think it's entirely organic either, but it's good enough for me because Magic Gina sells it. These are called divining crystals, and I call them that because I'm able to use them to test things and see if they are in my highest and best interest. This has been a really spectacular thing. I use it to test whether food has gone bad or not in the fridge, and I use it to test all my supplements before I take them. I probably check in with that at least once a month. Uh, we change every day and our supplements might not be the same um, benefit for us if we've been taking them. We might not need to take them every single day forever. We've maybe taken a B vitamin for a month and we need to back off on it so that we can just, I don't know, we just don't need all those things constantly. So we may have sometimes taken things that we don't need, which is a stressor on our body. So since I've started using the Divining Crystal about a year ago, I have been more in touch with the things that I use on and in my body. It's been most helpful for foods and supplements and for self-care products. So I test all my products before I send them out into the universe. And that makes me feel really certain that they're safe and healthy. Um, so I'm going to show you one of my favorite products. So I have a couple products now on my website that I'm selling because I love them and I believe wholeheartedly in their efforts and what they're doing. One of them is uh, Paradise Hill Foundation Honey. Okay, so I did not know that all local honey is not the same uh, until I met Lyle and Heidi from Paradise Hill. I went to their home and I toured their bee facility and how they make everything and everything that they do and their beliefs, and I found out that um, some local, even just, you know, local roadside honey that you assume is just amazing and wonderful, some beekeepers use other practices including antibiotics and sugar feeding. And those things aren't the best for the bees. So as we know, it's really important that the bees are healthy and thriving. Um, because if they're healthy and thriving, then we're going to be healthy and thriving. So I'm just going to show you how this divining crystal works because I'm fairly certain this honey is amazing. Um, and all my products, so I can I can show you just just a quick demonstration. This one's already sealed. I, won't, I don't even have to take the top off actually. So I'm just holding my crystal here. You can't see. I'm just gonna hold my crystal above the honey, and I'll do a couple things. I I should have maybe brought in something that's not beneficial for me, so you can see how it works. But when I hold the crystal above it, it takes on a distinctly, distinctly clockwise rotation. So it's flying around clockwise is telling me that this is a wonderful product and that is in my highest and best interest. So that's how I use Divining Crystals. I always dreamed of selling these um, so that I could get, well, for the last year, so that I could get them out into the world so that everybody could benefit from this wonderful resource. And I finally am. So it's really a dream come true and I can sell them for only $12. So I think that's amazing. It's just a wonderful 
it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous gift. I have them in amethyst, this purple, and clear, and rose quartz. So I wear this every single day. I feel kind of um, like unprotected without it. So I wear it on a chain that falls right over my heart. And for me, that gives me a feeling of protection so that nothing that doesn't serve my highest and best interest can get in. And it just, it just feels really good. And then I go ahead and I take it off and use it all the time when I have a question. So that's what the Divining Crystal is. Um, another product that I have begun selling and promoting is this one. This is Tabal Chocolate. These guys are located in Wauwatosa, and I met them at an event recently, and I just really fell in love with their product and their mission. And uh, this is an example of how when you just do the right thing for the right reasons, wonderful magic and miracles can occur. So I went and picked up some chocolate from these guys in Wauwatosa, who Tabal, it means uh, relationship in Mayan. And so that's a really cool thing because what they do is they go and set up relationships with organic farmers and do this wonderful fair trade agreement and um, really know, well they know because they go and they meet the people and they become involved in the process of what these farms are doing for making, um, for growing the cocoa beans. So they go through this whole process and relationship. And so I simply went to Wauwatosa and uh, learned a little more and toured and tasted the amazing chocolate because I thought what could be better than self-care but chocolate and self-care they go together quite naturally. So I'm selling this chocolate and I go down to Wauwatosa to pick it up and the amazing bonus that I did not possibly expect was that they had beautiful bags of cocoa butter, organic, directly sourced from these beautiful farms. Um, this is in Dominican Republic. This chocolate's Costa Rica, but the cocoa butter is from a farm in Dominican Republic. And I was able to start sourcing my cocoa butter directly through them and so I get a so much better, amazing, beyond, way beyond organic ingredient, and I'm doing the right thing, promoting this wonderful local company who's making the best chocolate I've ever had. So I'm feeling pretty good about that, and my life bars are smelling amazing because I have this whole new cocoa butter. Um, that's the thing about beyond organic ingredients is that you're always open to new ones coming in that are even better than what you had. So Tabal chocolate, it costs $7 a bar and it's worth every penny. Um, so I showed you the honey that's from Paradise Hill, the chocolate from Tabal, and I have one more that I'm really excited to show you, and that is the Sweet Dreams Mist from my amazing friend Marilyn who has a spa where she does energy work and facials and all this the best um, treatments. I call it the Maryland experience and I trust her completely and uh, to do what's ever best for me. So I go to her a couple times a year and because it's a bit of a drive for me and uh, she and her girlfriends have come up with this incredible offering. It's called Enchanting Essential Oils and they make uh, five different oils and this is my total favorite although I use the other ones too. It's called Sweet Dreams and she has in here lavender, rose geranium, a little witch hazel and water, a little Epsom salts and clear quartz crystals. And the crystals and the lavender, it just makes the best experience. When I, so it's part of my night ritual. I spray, I spray my pillow with this. You can spray yourself, you can spray your clothes, you can spray your bathroom. Um, I spray my pillow every night and I just feel like this is just the best blessing on my sleep uh, and on my day and I just it's kind of like my prayer at night and I put this on my pillow and I just love it so I'm selling this on my website as well for $22 and it's worth every penny so I love my sweet dreams mist my chocolate and my honey so those are the products that I'm selling right now on my website I almost forgot one because I've been selling it for a long time these incredible bracelets you can come if you come this weekend to pathways of light you'll see me and jill who is my soul sister who we're making a lot of magic with and so she makes these jewelry um, these healing stone bracelets but she's taken it to a new level that i have to tell you about because it's really worth it so before you could just buy the bracelets which she put her healing intentions into and she beaded them with mantras and prayer and she took the bracelets for hikes she does so much love to the bracelets um and then, oh dear, I don't have it with me. Now you can buy the bracelets um, made by her or 
you can buy the bracelets as a mantra kit which I will post photos of and make sure is on my website by this weekend when we're gonna to be together at Pathways of Light selling them. So we bought one, um, Doolin bought one, my son uh, bought one this last weekend at Yuletide in a, in a color that he loved, um, these blues and greens with tiger's eye. And he came home that night, and this is when I really understood what she was doing when she changed from pre-made bracelets to these mantra kits and he sat there and he beaded it with his own be healing intentions and I showed him the mantra that she had written for him to read which corresponds with the stones that she's chosen in um, the kit and he read it and he said things like I embrace myself I embrace my journey um, in this incredible mantra and he spoke these words out loud while making his bracelet and it only took him five minutes and he made it uh, to his own exact size and with his own healing intentions and I just got to watch that happen and it was so incredible he fell in love with the bracelet he felt the intentions and part of the magic of self-care is that when you put your own healing intentions into your routine or your ritual or something that you make for yourself, uh, it takes on a whole nother level of magic. So he just fell in love and uh, I love these bracelets so much. So the ones that she, you can buy on my website are a combination of sunstone and jasper. And sunstone lifts us up, helps us be our brightest, truest self, and jasper dispels any negativity and protects us from things that don't serve our highest and best interest. So those are about the coolest thing. Um, so those are the things that I offer through my website in addition to what I make. I'll finish my product line real quick because I want you to see everything that you have available to you right now that you can enjoy. Um, I made lip balm. Every order that um, between now and Christmas gets free lip balm. You can also order it itself, it's 350. Uh, it's basically what's in Life Bar, except I added some hemp seed oil, and I changed the essential oils to just be peppermint and frankincense. So it kind of smells like Christmas. It's holiday-ish. And really good for winter. That peppermint is really great. Speaking of winter, Lift Balm is the ticket, and people have been buying tons of this. This is the large size. It also comes in the smaller, 2 ounce or 4, four ounce. $16 or 22 and the lift balm is your really rich cream. I made it in January. I did I invented it Created it in January now. Of course this batch was last week, but um, it's for the winter time It's really really great for moisturizing in the winter and I use this at night and on my body in the day Anytime it's just really rich and wonderful so you can see the color it has wild crafted rose hip seed oil This is what you need for the winter time it's really, really great for your skin. So LIFT stands for looking inward for truth. It's what I made to replace my night cream, but you can totally use it all over your skin, your whole body. Um, the, two, the two body oils that I offer are the Time to Heal and the Project Soul Shine. I really love both of them. They're kind of the yin yang of each other. The Time to Heal is when you're going through um, illness, like a sinus infection or cold, you wanna put just a little bit of this it doesn't smell like perfume, it's not supposed to, it's kind of medicinal. You want to put it up on your sinuses and all through here and then massage it in and get that like lymph draining thing going on. So you give yourself a little neck massage and try to get your lymph to drain and that will be really, really good on, um, when you're dealing with an illness or even emotional healing. And people have also reported amazing um, things when they have like a cut or a burn that won't heal. They use a little bit of time to heal or some sort of an irritation. It can just be really healing. So you can try that. And then the Project Soul Shine I showed you, um, you wanna just use that face and body anytime. It's very uplifting, very nurturing. And it does have sesame oil, which is really great for winter. Sesame oil is warming. So that's awesome for the skin anytime. If you can take the time and put it in a small dish, um, and put it, I'm looking at my heater, because I put a small dish of this on the heating vent in my bathroom and warm it up. And if you take the time to do that before your shower or at night before a bath, really 
especially before you bathe or if you're just on a non-shower day, take the time to heat up a couple tablespoons or how much uh, ever you want of the Project Soul Shine and do that onto your, it's actually a Indian um, tradition. I think it's pronounced Abhayanga, which is the practice of uh, warm oil massage. And Project Soul Shine works really, really well for that. Uh, that's what I'm using it for right now. You can also use it in your hair at night. It's a really great moisturizing thing. Um, last two, the, this is my jar. You will have a much nicer jar, but it's my test jar. This is, um, this is the cocoa cream. This is what we used to call dream cream. It's cocoa cream. This is just replaces regular body lotion. Just simple moisturizing. It's just coconut oil, cocoa butter. It's just, it's coconut oil, cocoa butter, um, and some wonderful organic essential oils. Very light on the essential oils. But it smells, smells to me like uh, Gilly Sundays. Um, it's got just that chocolate from the cocoa butter and coconut oil and just some brightness too. So that's the, uh, the cocoa cream. Last thing to show you, this would be a really incredible gift, um, is the perfume. So this is to really lift our spirits and calm our nerves. It's so nice. It's a blend of um, vanilla, grapefruit, bergamot, a little bit of clary sage, rose, touch of lavender, and of course a couple drops of, two drops of frankincense and one of sandalwood for the deeper notes. So it's not, it's very bright, but it's not too bright. The vanilla softens it, but it is not at all um, vanilla potpourri. You know, it's really, really clean and bright and fresh. And every single ingredient is 100% organic. So it's just essential oils, which are organic from Veriditas. Here's a picture for you of Veriditas essential oils because not a lot of people have heard of these. This is the product that I chose to use for almost all of my essential oils. And I did that because they are 100% certified organic, so I can feel really good about putting them out. Um, those plus a couple drops of calendula. That's all that's in the perfume. So it's really, really good for you. So that's my whole line. I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew about the whole thing so that you could get, um, you know, try something that you haven't tried yet. A lot of people have tried pit paste and life bars, but the facial cleansing oil, the dry shampoo, the soap and shave, these are all so good for your routine. So try, try more of them. Try, um, Try the toner if you haven't. It's awesome. It's so simple, but it is like an incredible discovery. The, the use of simple ingredients like vodka, apple cider vinegar, hydrosols, those things are great for our skin and help us feel our most radiant this time of year. So thanks for uh, checking out my products and uh, send me notes if you have questions. I'd love to answer them for you. Have a great day. Stop. Can't stop. Finish. Here we go.